Hey Jude, um, I just woke up and, um, watched your video, and, um, I wanted to help more than my other video did, um, specifically with the problems that you were talking about. Um, first of all, in terms of emotions and stuff, I've watched a fuck ton of videos, and, um, for most of what I've seen, you're not going to get, like, angry roid rage. You're going to be a little more bristly about things. Um, and your emotions are going to be, like, Charles, freshly Charles described it in such a way that, like, your emotions, instead of being, like, up here in your chest, like, girls normally feel their emotions. I don't know if you feel your emotions this way, but that's how Charles and I talked about it. Um, you're gonna feel them more down in your stomach, and they're gonna be harder to parse out. Um, so I wouldn't be too concerned about, um, getting super angry with people and acting out. Um, especially if you're pretty well a dude like me. Um, I can't really imagine you acting out. You're- you seem like a pretty logical sort, so, um, you'll probably catch yourself if you do end up doing that. Um, but I wouldn't be concerned. Um, and so far as, um, the whole androgyny thing, and you talked about it later in your video going on androgel and stuff, um, I think as long as you pay really close attention to your changes, and, um, especially check in with yourself emotionally and mentally, um, you won't go to a point where you start feeling uncomfortable. Um, and that's the thing that I really worry about when I go on T is getting on T and then, like, completely missing my stop, so to speak, and, um, just getting so uncomfortable and so masculine that I get lost in it, and, um, because it, it, it happens sometimes, because I'll convince myself that being masculine is better, because then I'll pass more, and, um, so, yeah, um, I had something else to say, oh, um, don't be don't get upset with yourself for being afraid of it. Um, if you're not afraid of it, you're doing it wrong, I think, um, on some level. And, um, especially for us genderqueers, T isn't super permanent, but it's still really scary because, I mean, we've been in our bodies for, what, you're 19, 18? You know, we've been in these bodies for, you know, 18, 19, 20 years, and now we're gonna go changing it, and that's a little scary. Um, it's kind of like when you have a living room and it's been set up the same way since you were born and then all of a sudden your parents change the furniture on you and you have no idea where to sit anymore and, like, you're walking around in the dark and you stub your toe on everything because you just have no idea where anything is anymore. Um, it's kind of like that. That's kind of how I think about it. Um, but, um, yeah, so I just wanted to say congrats on getting tea. That's super awesome. Um, I'm very, very excited to see how your changes progress, because, uh, you and me seem to be kind of brain twins on a lot of stuff concerning transition, so, um, I will be looking forward to it. Though, I still don't plan on getting injections, but that's just because I hate needles, so, um, <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Um, but, you know, um, don't stress yourself out. You can always take a break if you need to take a break from it, and, um... You know, just roll with it. I mean, we're pretty mellow dudes, and you, you should be able to roll with the punches pretty well. You seem to be the adaptable sort of person. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll talk to you later.